Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with something totally different than what we're used to really looking at, that's for sure, but it should be a lot of fun, right? Hopefully. Now, I have been seeing these advertised for quite some time. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not the biggest fan of Vampirella, but I do like old comic books, and I totally remember growing up and seeing all the artwork and all the articles, you know, for Vampirella back in the day, right? So it was a figure I had to grab, and I finally got a hold of one. So this is Executive Replicas and Loose Collectors Vampirella action figure, which features really nice artwork of Vampirella over the years on the box. Totally cool. Warning, there is a choking hazard, not for kids under five, but the box features all kinds of iterations of the alluring artwork for Vampirella over the years. On the back side, you get the same art as the front. There is also a write-up, which you can read up on Vampirella. Just try not to have a brain aneurysm while you're trying to get through these two run-on sentences. Come on, Dynamite Comics, you could do... Better than that? My god, at least there's some nice artwork of Vampirella to keep you company while you're trying, right? So, it features all these different 26 points of articulation, two heads, two hands, all that jazz. We'll look at them in detail. And of course, here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So again, thank you very much for that. Now, if you're wondering, this figure is not cheap. It's a smaller company, I get it, less run, all that jazz. But it's going to set you back about 70 bucks, so keep that in mind. But it came from Entertainment Earth, and if you stay tuned through the end of this video, I will show you how you could potentially get 10% off your order and also free shippings to boot, because that just helps with the prices these days, right? So, in either case, this should be a lot of fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, from Dynamite Comics, the Executive Replicas and a Loose Collector action figure... Vampirella. And here's old Vampy out of the packaging, and she at least comes with quite a few accessories, which is nice to see, and, of course, very articulated action figure, more ways than one, but you do get a Bat Minion, which is totally cool. Now, one aspect is that it's flat black, right? There's not a whole heck of a lot to it. It's nicely sculpted, so that totally works. But my recommendation is, in the future, you really got to put some paint on this. Maybe some glowing red eyes, something like that to elevate it. Because otherwise, for the price point, it's kind of meh. Also get a little ring right here so you can slip the Bat Minion onto any of Vampirella's corresponding hands. She comes with a lot in the box, so you'll find the magic one that works for you, right? Speaking of the hands, she has... Item, weapon holding hands, little red fingernails. She's also got kind of come hither hypnotic hands, right? She also comes with two Raphael's bat size, right? It's kind of sort of. These are painted nicely. No probs whatsoever. They're actually really well done. And as you can see, with said hands, swip swap, do all the things, and she can hold the weapons accordingly. So that is nice to see. No problems. Now, she does come with a cape. It's black on one side. It's got a really nice sculpt to it. It really drapes nicely. It's borderline McFarlane-ish, so I definitely dig that. And it's got a nice black wash on the red part, which is totally cool. Pop the head off, slip it over the little white collar, and then, yeah, you got yourself a cool-looking Vampirella cape. Now, it's not my favorite. It's really well done. I would have probably preferred more of a cloth goods, but it's good for what it is. Now, she does come with an extra head portrait. It's her going full Vampirella, fangs and all. You'll notice there's no ears. It's kind of just a flesh-colored head with some paint for the actual face features, right? You pop the hair off. It's really simple. You pop the head off. It's really simple. You slip the one you want on and then grab the hair piece. You only get one. Simply just fits right over, so it definitely works. But more on that in just a few. I wish there was some extra hair in the box, but you can see the difference between the two faces. Normal mode and vampire mode. Speaking of vampire mode, well, let's just get this right out of the way. Front and center, boobs. <laughs> And yeah, she's got a lot of it, let's be honest. But the figure itself is pretty darn cool. I gotta say, for Vampirella and growing up with comic books and constantly seeing this, yeah, no, I'm saying. it's fun, but we'll leave it at that. Let's try to be professional at least a little bit. The gold bands, the red costume, for what the little of it is, it all looks good. It's all painted well. She's got black boots, right? Those are done nicely. She's got peg holes on the bottom of her feet, on the back side, it's barely hanging in there with a prayer, but hey, it does look good, right? We can all agree on that. The flesh-colored plastic works well. It does have a little bit of shading to kind of bring out the flesh, but I gotta say, again, with the price points, 
for the flesh colored plastic it would have been nice to have some dry brush something like that just to really kind of elevate it the one hiccup i would say with this figure if any is that when you want to move her head around the hair always wants to move around. If you jostle the hair, it goes up, it raises too much, it gives her a full-blown forehead. You get the idea, right? So you kind of have to watch that. You do get plenty of head rotation out of this ball joint, which is nice to see, and the hair does not hinder it, but the hindrance will come when you try to move it around. You always got to fix the hair. That's really the only problem. As far as the articulation on this figure, the shoulders, got the bicep that blends in. She's completely pinless, which is really nice to see. She's got single joints, which doesn't bother me. I totally dig it. She has some nice wrist articulation. She does not spin at the elbow, but that's where the bicep will come in. Now, she does have upper boob diaphragm articulation, which, yeah, you can get her going pretty good on that sense. Again, with the hair, right? The legs, knees, double jointed knees. Pretty good. You get a lot of articulation out of this figure. It's pretty well done. She does have thigh as well, so that's cool to see. And then down at the boots, you have some foot articulation. It'll rock to and fro. You get the idea. There's nothing at the actual boots themselves. I guess it would have been nice to put that in there if you wanted to, but it's really not a deal killer by any means. It looks like there is, but there is not. But I got to tell you, the articulation works really well with this figure. You can get her sitting down. You can have her doing the splits. You can get her in a karate kick vampire mode. So it really does work well in the articulation aspect. I got to give it to him. In all honesty, the price point is a little bit of a hit. Let's be honest. But the articulation and the accessories more than make up for it, especially for you photographers out there. Now, I do think a base would have been cool. Some sort of base because sometimes she can get kind of back heavy especially when you want to add the cape which is totally ironic right the fact that she would ever be back heavy right but you get her a nice stand something to sit on a coffin and i gotta tell you it's a lot of fun to pose this figure out it's pretty cool and yeah you could do all the different poses from over the years of all that artwork so good luck the other thing i think she should have come with is a flight stand now she doesn't come with bat wings as she's known right you could have those in there but a flight stand would have definitely been cool and Again, the posing is really cool. If you get her in a sweet position, she'll stay for the most part, but a stand definitely would have benefited her overall. Now, to really see how she scales with other brands, companies, and whatnot, she's going to be more in that six-inch scale. She can work kind of, sort of, with seven-inch like McFarlane, but she's too far out of scale with Masterverse. Let's just say that. And just to kind of show you with Mezco or Mafex, yeah, she does scale well with those as well. Now, the bodies and everything else are going to be kind of different. But, yeah, she'll go with that scale of figure. But I got to tell you, I think she looks really great with all these old comic book heroes. And that's really what I wanted this figure for, to display her with the Phantom and the Rocketeer and everything else of the old school comic book nature that I love. So for that, I definitely appreciate this Vampirella. On the other hand of things, though... And how I first encountered Vampirella in comic book form was way back in the day, around 1997, with Catwoman versus Vampirella. And this was Jim Balance masterpiece, right? Read it for the articles, I'm sure, right? Wink, wink. But it was a very cool story for what it was back in the day. Not a whole heck of a lot goes on. Vampirella attacks Catwoman. Catwoman and Vampirella team up, and then they battle a feral cat lady and the penguin go figure but what i do like is that you can actually put these two figures together so for mcfarlane and loose collector slash executive replicas totally works it's a little bit smaller than catwoman but hey totally cool with me and real quick while i got you guys here if you've never tried out entertainment earth before i highly recommend them i use them myself and you're in luck if you were interested in vampirella she is in stock now now I do have a link down in the description below. The link will give you 10% off all in-stock items, which Vampirella totally works, right? Provided she's in stock when you see this video, as well as free shipping. If it doesn't automatically apply it, just hit the code FREESHIP59 and that'll do it. So at least it'll alleviate uh, some of the stress of the price, we'll just say. She is on the higher price end, but again, it's a smaller company. It's more of a smaller run. It's that whole thing. So, again, if you've never checked out Entertainment Earth, they ship well, they ship fast. Highly recommend them. And in case I don't talk with you, have a fantastic, safe 4th of July holiday weekend. 
And if you're in the mood to buy something, definitely check out Entertainment Earth. Guarantee you'll find something there that you'll like. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Executive Replicas and Loose Collector Vampirella from Dynamite Comics. All the way from, what, 1969, give or take, to now 2023. I'll be quite honest with you, I'm not going to go into details about Vampirella because... Let's be honest, I don't think many of you are going to tell me your favorite storyline from Vampirella. You can always just say, yeah, I know you're talking about. Totally dug the artwork. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Vampirella. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep your eyes up here, buster. I see what you're doing. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.